Well, how's it going everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today is another awesome underwater episode. I'm super excited to bring you guys this footage. I have so much underwater footage this year that I thought I would just kind of throw it all at you guys at one time and see what you guys think as well as spread a couple of these videos out throughout the rest of the year. Now, this video is kind of a very, very bed fishing focused video, especially for you guys up north that still have fish on beds. I hope that you do by the time this video drops. But it's basically me catching some bed fish on two of my favorite lures, the drop shot and the rage craw, or the, the white drop shot and the white craw for beds. That's basically kind of the two pronged approach. If I can't catch a bed fish on both of their, either of those baits, usually that fish is completely uncatchable unless you throw a giant giant swim bait in there as I've discussed in previous videos but I say without further ado we jump into the underwater footage and see what I'm talking about so this first fish here is about a one and a half pound male sitting on a bed and as you can see by that big fish going by there are all sorts of fish around this bed now one of the reasons why I love fishing around the springtime is because not only can you catch fish that are spawning, but you can also catch fish that are in all three stages, the pre, the spawn, and the post spawn. And you can see just by looking at this clip here that there's tons and tons of fish in all those phases literally cruising around. When I put the camera down there, I didn't even see those fish, so it's it's pretty neat to, to watch the footage afterwards and see the kind of fish, and really the quality of fish, that were around the area that I probably could have caught if I had just fished for them. But uh, basically the first lure that I throw down there is the drop shot with little beast coast magic flick so there's kind of two ways that I like to work a drop shot really the only two ways you can do it are keeping the bait closer to the bottom like you see here and then keeping the bait farther up in the water column and actually working it like a drop shot was intended and so a lot of the times though whether bed fishing or not I like to let the bait sink to the bottom and kind of jig it across the bottom not necessarily high in the water column but let it sit on the bottom and especially in this case I wanted to see if this would cause the bass to react So using this technique, just kind of jigging it on the bottom, and boom, he ate it. And I missed him. <laughs> I thought the hook would get him, but I guess uh, guess I did not. So we'll get a few more, get a few more uh, underwater shots of him eating. But it's just it's cool to see. Look at that big one. Gosh, that's four or five or six pounds. That's a it's a good fish. And I wish I had seen these fish. That way I could catch them. But uh, every time I looked away, I guess these fish swam by. But I say we give him another try. Now in this second or third flip, I realize basically in the editing phase that this female was on her way in and so right now I you know pulled the bait away because I didn't think the male was going to be very uh, you know apt to biting it I didn't even see the female down there so let's take a replay look at that I didn't even see that she uh, was showing interest in the lure now the rod reel and line setup that I throw a drop shot on is honestly pretty simple and it's all linked down below for you guys to check out but I use the Luze Mach 2 spinning reel it's an incredible reel I've kind of fallen in love with that thing over the past year uh, the Luze TP1 speed stick drop shot rod. It's a kind of a technique specific rod, but it's basically just a 6'9 medium light. I kind of like a shorter rod for drop shots because uh, I'm not necessarily making super, super long casts. It's more vertical type fishing. And then the line I'm throwing is a 15 pound braided line to a 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's basically it. It is a pretty, pretty simple setup. So to give it one more try, I decided to, as I mentioned before, use the second technique of keeping the drop shot bait further up in the water column because I noticed this bass was kind of suspended a little bit higher. And as soon as I kind of pulled it higher and let it sit there, boom, he inhaled it. And I got him. Now this second fish, this footage here, is going to be a fish that is reacting very well to one of my favorite, probably my favorite bed fishing bait of all time, the White Rage Craw. Now if you've seen my, my videos before, you know that this is my favorite lure to throw on a bed. I just think it, it gets them the most mad, it gets them the most aggressive, and, and I've caught the most fish on this bait of all time. So I say we jump in and watch the footage. And this first one here, he kind of nips at it and carries it off by the tail, <laughs> by the pinchers. And here's our second attempt, kind of missed it the first time, and then boom, in slow motion you can just see, really has no interest in eating, as I've talked about before, bedfish kind of act in, in a different manner, but he had absolutely no interest in eating it, he just kind of wanted to take the pinchers and carry it off. And boom, once again, he kind of just grabs the backside of the bait, and carries it off the bed. Now, as you guys know, kind of the more that you throw at a bedfish, the, the more agitated they get and the more likely they are to eat. And as you can see here, I flip it in there, boom, he eats it. I set the hook, and I caught that fish. 
Well, folks, that is the video. I hope that you enjoy it. As always, it is a pleasure for me to show you guys this type of underwater footage because not only is it hard to get, but it, it is so cool to watch. I remember the first time I ever got underwater footage, I was just in awe of, of how cool it is to see a bass eat a lure and catch that bass on camera. So if you guys enjoyed, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you are not part of the TRF squad so far. Click the last two uh, the last two underwater videos I made. You can go click over here in this corner to view those. And make sure you guys hit the like button as well. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.